Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, Zach D Productions here, and I'm actually here for something a little bit different this time around. This will be a DVD collection update video. Now, kind of recently, I did a Marvel DVD collection. Now, I, not all the films I own are Marvel, but of course most of them are, since I am a Marvel fan, of course. And I did decide to do a DVD collection update for the movies that I've gotten since then. So since that collection video I made, I have gotten other movies since then, and I will go ahead and show you what those movies are. So let's start off with the one that just came out recently on disc, and that is Morbius. I know that some people bash this movie. I know, I know. It's <laughs> Some people say it's one of the worst Marvel movies around, but you know what? After watching it, I don't think it's that bad. It's not perfect, of course. It's not one of the best Marvel films ever or anything. But, you know, for what it was, it was pretty good, actually. You know, I do think the pacing of it is kind of poor, but even so, it's still a pretty good film for what it is. Definitely not as bad as a lot of people are saying. Of course, knowing me, I do like most Marvel films. I'm not sure why. I guess it's just... I don't know, I guess I'm just not as picky as other people. I don't know. So this next one here, I actually got in the mail, and I bought it on Amazon, because I've looked in places like The Exchange, FYE, and other places that sell DVD and such, and they didn't have this movie. For some reason, this movie's kind of hard to come by, um, at least from my experience, that is. But what I got here is Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings heard really good things about this movie. I know that this one is kind of a new release. I think it came out last year or something, but yeah. Wanted to check it out, so wanted to go ahead and get it. So yeah, I got Shang-Chi. So what we got next is Captain America, the first Avenger. Yeah, definitely a great movie right here. Kind of underrated uh, because I know that a lot of people say that the other two are better, but while that might be the case, I still think this movie is pretty good. And then I, of course, had to get The Winter Soldier, and then I got Civil War, which is maybe the best of the Captain America trilogy. Uh, I know that some people might complain that this is basically just another Avengers film, but, you know, it's pretty good, actually, even if it does seem like that anyways. And then recently I did buy... Ant-Man. Never seen any of the Ant-Man films. I want to, so went ahead and got the first one, and then I'll pretty much work my way up, because I do know that they are making a new Ant-Man film, so I'll eventually get the second one and then see the third one. That's basically how it'll go, so yep, I got Ant-Man. So the last few movies here are actually not from Marvel. These are from DC, and so what I got here is The Batman the newest Batman movie that released this year. Yeah, definitely one of the best films of the year, I would say, and I'm sure many people can agree with me on that. Probably one of the best Batman movies I've ever seen as well. I mean, Robert Pattinson, I thought his portrayal of Batman was pretty good in this movie. Yeah, pretty good. So, I got the Batman. And then lastly, this movie set here that I got is actually a trilogy set. And I got this set for a very good deal, for like $12. And I've seen at FYE they were charging like, I don't know, close to $30 for the whole trilogy. But it was a Blu-ray, it wasn't a DVD. But still, this is still a very good deal. So what I got here for only $12 is Batman The Dark Knight Trilogy. Yeah, what a solid trilogy this is. I mean... I might do a ranking one day for the Dark Knight films for this trilogy, but I don't know. I, I like all the films, so it's pretty hard to decide on which of the three movies I like the best, but yeah, pretty nice set to have for sure. It comes with these two things here. It comes with an art book, so you get pictures. Yeah, pretty cool stuff right here. And then this here is what the actual DVDs come in. Let 
pretty nice, ain't it? So definitely had to get this for a very good deal. Well, there you have it. That's my DVD collection update. As you guys can tell, I am starting to buy more DVDs more often than I used to because I really didn't do much uh, DVD shopping back in the day. And, you know, there's a lot of great films out there that I've missed out on over the past few years because, well, believe it or not, I actually didn't check out any of the Tom Holland Spider-Man films till around when No Way Home came out. So I definitely had a lot of uh, keeping up to do and it was something that I knew I wanted to invest in as well. So, you know, just with all these films, all these Marvel films and, you know, cause I'm a big Marvel fan and just a superhero fan in general, I knew I wanted to uh, keep up with these films and, you know, give them a try. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you seen any of these movies? Do you like any of these films? Feel free to let me know. So on that note, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.